It's an automotive icon with a history that dates back to the 1950s. Now it's undergone some improvements. The Mercedes SL has a powerful engine, a nine-speed automatic transmission, five dynamic drive programs, and the suspension is equipped with an active curve tilting feature. The SL has always been a top-of-the-line touring roadster, and the new model continues that tradition. We're going to test an AMG SL63 that has a power output of 430 kilowatts. Automotive journalist Ville Beaumont will put the car through its paces. I think the way that they've developed the style of the SL into this sort of more modern shape, it's still got the cues of the big, the big grille at the front, but it now fits with a much more, kind of, the more modern Mercedes style, I think has worked really, really well. I think it's, you know, a nice resolved shape and it looks very, very elegant as well. One feature that makes everyday driving more enjoyable is that you can open and close the roof while you're on the road, provided you don't exceed speeds of 40 kilometers per hour. When you open the trunk, the folding deck pops up automatically and the partition in the luggage compartment slides back. All of this makes it easier to load and unload your gear. You can almost hear the power of the SL's 5.5 liter twin turbo engine. Our test car made it from a standing start to 100 kilometers per hour in just 4.1 seconds. The SL's automatic speed limiter kicks in at 250 kilometers per hour, but you can boost that to 300 with the AMG driver's package. The SL comes equipped with sport and comfort mode options. The car feels really stable, both on the open road and in curves. Will says it was a pleasure to drive, particularly out in the countryside. Really, really nice roads, fantastic scenery, and some sort of like lovely sort of switchbacks and hairpin bends, and some really great fast corners as well. Some sweeping corners too. Some of the, some of the sweet, you know, the longer corners where you could really feel the curved tilt as well, which was really nice to sort of, you know, you could understand how that worked a little bit better through some of the quicker corners. The SL glides through curves as though the car was on rails, but Will did have a bit of a problem with the SL steering. I think the steering can feel a little bit, a little bit odd. There's a little bit of vagueness, sort of from the front end when you're, um, particularly sort of around the dead ahead position. But once you're sort of moving, the rest of the car is sort of very well resolved with the steering. So that even though the steering, you don't feel an awful lot, it feels very, um, it's, it's it's in tune with the rest of the car to extent. So you can get some feedback to all the other elements through the, through the seat and through the suspension. The SL's interior is pure luxury, including the leather steering wheel cover. The ventilation nozzles on this edition of the SL recall the design of previous models. The SL sells for about 162,000 euros in Germany, leather sports seats included. The SL comes with five drive select modes. You can switch from one to the other depending on personal taste and road conditions. All in all, Will says, the new and improved Mercedes SL is a lot of fun to drive. I think the revisions they've made to the new SL have turned it into a really sort of great sports car now as well, rather than just being a cruiser, which it was very good at before. It still does that now, but it also can excite a bit more than it, than it used to.